Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis, still out on the road. I'm enjoying it. I love driving through the small towns. I'm not doing much research. My style is kind of drive, see something I like, and then research it. And next time I come through, I'll know all about it and know what I'm looking for. I'm going to stay this evening in Lake Whitney State Park. They got an old-fashioned ranger's office. The Wi-Fi here is non-existent. Uh, much like Mother Neff State Park, they have it, but it'll do you no good. <laughs> the ranger recommended this site to me. Let me get my tag here. Site 123. I recommend it as uh, well. It's got that cool little path. Let's check that out. It's kind of hidden in the trees. And uh, we're going to have a little bit of mist for about an hour. And then the sun's going to come out. Matter of fact, it's supposed to, we're supposed to get two or three half-hour patches throughout the day here. Uh, just a little mist of rain. And then the sun will come back out. So that's kind of neat. And it makes, a, makes it interesting. Just this little curve of the worn road kills my knees but it looks like it's going to be worth it matter of fact i have my uh, chair i think uh, i'm going to come back here look around the park come back here and uh, make this my reading spot i have between uh, one and three bars on my phone no matter where i went in this park so that was pretty cool i was able to keep up on comment calls and things like that so that is Lake Whitney. That is a man-made lake. The deepest part is 108 feet deep. And uh, they dammed the Brazos River. Oh, I'm thinking I read 1951. I'm sharing water with the site next to me. Uh, no electric. No electric needed. And uh, the whole time I was at my site, I had two cars pass me. A truck and a trailer coming, and that was a uh, casita, and a truck and a trailer going. So, very good day. Not a whole lot of traffic. I am the only one in this section, and then about 300 yards away, there is uh, another area going on. That restroom, I haven't seen anyone use it but me. Uh, I thought these people were going to use it. Jim at the Dogman Chronicles, this one's for you. <laughs> but uh, they just park there, and uh, there's a trailhead right behind it. And they took the dogs up the trailhead. There he is, gathering them up. He's worried about them being out in the road, so that's good. But there's virtually no traffic back here. I, I, I saw the, uh, a lady in that casita that I mentioned earlier. Is that a bad sign when there's buzzards? <laughs> I'm so glad these buzzards are at the table next to me and not waiting for me at mine. And, uh, yeah, that's our society now. We have to put up signs to tell people not to drive into the lake. <laughs> that always cracks me up. But I, I uh, whenever I see someone driving a casita, I just assume they watch Rusty78609, right? They have to. Why else would you buy a casita? You can see it got pretty quick. I like this park. Um, if you get a chance, check out my friend's channel, That Girl Travels. She was here a month or two ago, and uh, there are little cliffs here. Not little. There are cliffs here you can dive off of and go down into the water. And when you're young, uh, that's fun. So if you like seeing girls in bikinis jumping off cliffs, that's a good channel for you. <laughs> But I, I've known her a long time, and uh, yeah, Army veteran, kids, works, goes to school, good person. Isn't this pretty? I hear a lot of birds. I hear a lot of bugs. I know mosquitoes here, uh, the occasional gnat, not swarms of gnat, just the occasional one. So uh, they got their bug control under order. There, uh, the people that are parked about 300 yards away from me. Isn't this gorgeous, guys? Um, 
they they drove down and asked if I would just generally keep an eye on their site. They have their tents and all set up, and they're going to run in town and get some food. They asked me if I need anything. I said no. And uh, they were gone about two hours, and uh, when they came back, they uh, just came over to say thank you and um, brought me a cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger, french fries, and a type of pie that I never had before called toasted coconut meringue pie. And uh, I don't know who these people are, but I absolutely love them. <laughs> Apparently just outside the gates here, there's a place, Bob's Cafe, and something in the title says Burgers and Pie Pantry. So uh, check that out if you ever stay here at Lake Whitney State Park. You give me a good Texas State Park and throw in some pie and a burger, I'm a happy camper. Not a whole lot of people here. I would say there's less than 20 people in this entire park. Also nearby, once you leave the park... There's, you know, other access to Lake Whitney that might be more friendly if you're looking for a, a swimming place, like a like a beach type area to swim. But um, I was happy with this. I swam for about 20 minutes. The people I have just said hi to have been real friendly. Uh, I reserved one site just without looking because I don't usually care where I stay. I'm just parking there for the night. Uh, the ranger recommended that site to me, 123. And uh, I'm glad he did. It was very nice, quiet all night, relaxing. I got a boat ramp here. Sweet. Tolash, named for the Hanoya Indian chief, one of the first hill country settlements. Grist mill and carding machine. Built 1850 by S.C. Dyer, established Towash as a trade center. By 1879, had 15 enterprises. Declined after railroad bypass. Ruins inundated by Lake Whitney. And this sign is from 1967. So all that history was lost when they built the dam, but I imagine... But that's the case whenever they build a dam. I mean, we've all seen those videos where there's whole towns underwater. 108 feet deep here. That is just amazing. So that's a group hall. How many state parks have you seen with an airstrip? This is my first one. Uh, ran into a gentleman with a horse. He told me the horse had been in 27 movies, but all just bit parts. <laughs> Well, I think I found where everyone is hiding now that I got a high. Thank you. I feel better. This is with the uh, the pull through hookups, full hookups. And yeah, I guess you need them. Makes life a lot easier, the pull throughs. But I kind of like being off on my own. I don't mind people around me, but just one right after another. Then you got to deal with, you know, more people, more noise. But this is pretty laid back. It's a weekday. School's in session. So I'm hoping everyone is uh, just chilled out. I don't see a whole lot of movement from people. But that's okay. Everyone's doing their whole thing. Guys, I am getting ready to crash for the night not going to brush my teeth so I can taste that burger as I go to sleep and have nice dreams. <laughs> I am directly across from the bathhouse. Well, a little bit of an angle, but some people are going to come and go this time of night and get washed up. That's okay. I highly recommend this area. Sir, you're starting your car during my sunset. <laughs> Yeah, it's quiet here, no one around me, but I guess people will come here to use the restroom, so that's always a consideration, and I actually did consider it when he recommended it to me, but that's not a problem. 
I hope you all are doing well. I hope all my friends in Rockport are safe. Looks like Matagora got the worst of it, and we just did videos for there. Stay safe. Thanks for watching, everyone.